So one of the most important things about planting is right plant, right place. And here's an example of what not to do. Here we have this glorious sunny bed and this is a dead plant. And I have Katie Bach with me because she is an expert on compost. So we are replacing it with what grows well here in the Pacific Northwest. And the answer is the flower carpet roses. These have been around for 25 years. It's their big anniversary year. They'll be covered with flowers this summer. But Katie, since you are an expert on compost, and we know we have to put compost when we plant, tell yeah. me the biggest mistake people are making. Well, the biggest mistake they make is they put a big shovel full of compost in the hole and then they plant the plant. And what you need to do is you need to add compost to the existing soil that you're planting in. So you need to add it in here and mix it together. So you don't want to have the compost just in the bottom no. of the hole. You want the native soil and the compost mixed together. So then the roots will spread out. Yeah, then the roots are going to spread out. And okay. oftentimes if plants are hard in their pot, what I do, I put them on the ground and I step on it and roll it. Okay. And then that way I can go ahead and slide it right out of the pot. And this, the root ball isn't too bad. I try to break it up a little bit. That also helps the roots going out. I'm going to let you get that in there, planting it at the same level it was at before, because I'm going to get the next secret ingredient for success. Now, Osmocote is great for indoor and outdoor plants, perfect for roses, because roses are heavy feeders. And so it's so easy to just shape the Osmocote into the soil. And now we can kind of bury it in. And the other thing that happens to people is they then don't think about the fact that they need to put some compost down on the top to uh, help start to remediate the soil in here and add organic matter back into it. So a mulch on top of the soil. Yeah, some mulch on top of the soil. newly planted rose is going to help keep out the weeds. And it's going to keep in the moisture, which Ooh. roses really love. Okay, so this little rose is going to explode with color. It's a flower carpet rose. It's going to need no spraying at all, totally disease resistant. The flower carpet rose is a great rose for here in the Northwest. Thanks for your help, Katie. You're welcome.